Hello and welcome to this short film about age-related acquired deaf blindness. It is intended to provide basic information for relatives, friends and health and social care staff supporting elderly people whose sight and hearing may have deteriorated as they have got older. Age-related deaf blindness is becoming increasingly common as we all live longer and is a particularly cruel condition that can rob older people of their independence, affect their ability to communicate, cause isolation and have a negative effect on their mental health and well-being. To put things into context, first of all let us consider a child born deaf or becoming deafened at an early age. They will nowadays be offered a cochlear implant, taught sign language or fitted with hearing aids at a time in their development when they will adapt to get the best possible use from them. Hearing aids distort and amplify all sound, not just conversation, yet older people are routinely fitted with hearing aids without any proper training, or more importantly, the time to adjust and adapt to their use. It is important to know that fitting an older person with a hearing aid and expecting them to be able to communicate normally again is comparable to buying them the latest training shoes and expecting them to qualify to enter the Olympics. Compared to English, British Sign Language is a foreign language in its own right and like most new languages can take years to learn, even if you can find someone else skilled enough to communicate with. In any case, eyesight is an important factor in communication as facial expressions, body language and lip reading play an important role. If a child is born with a serious visual impairment or becomes blind early in life, it is likely they will be taught to use braille and then rely on their hearing and voice to communicate with the outside world. Unfortunately, some children are born with or develop a dual sensory impairment and they become deaf blind. In these cases, they can learn to communicate using a finger spelling alphabet called Deaf Blind Manual, which involves their carers spelling the conversation onto the child's hand and the child responding by spelling onto the carer's hand. As you can probably imagine, in each of these scenarios, the deaf, blind or deaf blind person will receive lots of specialist support and resources available to them and will have the luxury of time to enable them to adapt. Whereas the vast majority of us use our vision and hearing to communicate and do not need to learn any specialist skills, until that is, we grow old. So how can we tell if an elderly person is becoming deaf blind? What are the signs to look out for? Well, perhaps the older person will say something like My eyes aren't as good as they used to be or I don't seem to hear as well anymore. Is the TV volume blasting out? Are there stacks of an opened mail? Are the newspapers unread or have they been cancelled perhaps to save money? Have they stopped going out as much? Does the telephone go up unanswered? Are the lights left on all the time? Does the doorbell go unanswered? Are they unsure who's speaking if there are more than two people in the room? Do they have a burned or sore finger or thumb? The following scenes will look at some of the issues facing older deaf blind people and will help you to help them cope more easily with the issues. In older people there are four main causes of vision loss and the following scenes are intended to provide an understanding of how each may affect vision. In the opening scene this is the sight of a normal person and our volunteer is using a magnifying reader to read the local magazine. Cataracts are the clouding of the lenses in your eyes. Common symptoms are blurry vision, colours that seem faded, glare, not being able to see well at night, double vision, frequent prescription changes to your eyewear. Age-related macular degeneration, or AMD, is a leading cause of vision loss in people aged 60 and older. It is a disease that destroys the sharp central vision needed to see objects clearly, 
This affects the ability to read, drive, watch television and do routine daily tasks. Glaucoma damages the eye's optic nerve and is a leading cause of blindness. It usually happens when the fluid pressure inside the eyes slowly rises, which damages the optic nerve. Diabetic retinopathy is caused by diabetes. It affects the retina, the light sensitive tissues at the back of the eye and causes the most blindness in British adults. Communication tactics. One very important thing to remember is that with the vast majority of all the deaf blind people, they will still be able to speak to you. So the most important role you will have is to make them understand what you wish them to know. Every deaf blind person will have different communications needs. First of all, try to eliminate all background noise. Switch the TV or radio off, go into a quieter room, close the windows and position yourself where the deaf blind person can clearly see your face. Then try to speak clearly to them. Don't shout. If they don't understand, try to rephrase what it is you are saying. If that doesn't work, use a thick marker pen and plain paper and write in large letters using simple words. If that fails, you might wish to try the block alphabet. Block has been designed for older deafblind people who have not learned the more specialist deafblind manual and involves using your finger to spell words using capital letters onto the palm of the deafblind person. In some cases, perhaps if they also have arthritis, spelling onto the deafblind person's shoulder may be more effective. Remember, they will use the voice to reply so you will know if they have understood. Look out for the use of Block Alphabet as our communicator guide safely supports the deafblind person along a narrow corridor, through a doorway and to her desk. In our second clip, we demonstrate the double tap sign for stop and the single tap sign which indicates that the communicator guide wishes the deafblind person to proffer their hand to receive block or to be gently placed on an obstacle. In this scene, you will see our visually impaired volunteer use a reader or magnifier in order to read the magazine. The text can be magnified to a size that suits the person's visual requirements. Bump ons are a very inexpensive way of helping a deafblind person distinguish the contents of the cans and other packages within the cupboards. They can be used to simply distinguish between, in this case, peaches and tomatoes and come in a range of colours and sizes, which means different products can be labelled using a bump arm to actually ensure that the person opens the can they want to open.
In this scene, our actor is making a cup of tea. You may recall at the outset of this video, we talked about one of the common signs of death blindness being that the older person might have a sore or scalded finger or thumb. In this scene, you'll see the actor using his thumb as the liquid level indicator. Thankfully, there are a number of safer alternatives nowadays. This is a vibrating liquid level indicator fits onto the side of the cup and the longer prong actually indicates when the tea or hot liquid has actually reached the right level and then once milk is added the shorter prong actually changes the vibration of the device to let the deaf blind person know that the cup is now ready for drinking. Many elderly deafblind people have real difficulty distinguishing white food on a white plate and you may notice that all they've eaten is peas, however the use of a coloured plate allows a greater contrast which enables much healthier nutrition. Colour coordination can be a real problem for deafblind people, especially when dressing or when sorting out laundry. However, there are simple solutions. Coloured and shaped buttons are available which can be attached to clothing to indicate the colour. In this case, the star is blue and the triangle is pink. Deafblind people can quickly understand how this system works. Vision loss doesn't mean that enjoyable pastimes such as playing cards needs to be a thing of the past. Simply purchase a set of our oversized cards which will enable all those games to continue. In this video we have only been able to show you a small selection of the equipment that is available for holder deafblind people. And there are others commonly available, such as a fan operated doorbell. When the door rings, a fan switches on and blows air onto the face of the deafblind person so they know there's someone at the door. A vibrating pillow alarm clock, so when the alarm clock rings, a vibration device under the pillow actually wakes the deafblind person. And very common for those people who have hearing aids is a loop system for the TV which allows the hearing aid to concentrate only on the sounds coming from the television. Ah, I can hear you say it, but what about the cost of providing this equipment? Well, I think you'll be pleased to know that the Department of Health has issued local authorities and the National Health Service with a statutory guidance on deaf blindness known as Section 7 Guidance. For more information about Section 7 Guidance, visit our website at www.bc.org.uk. Northumberland Care Alliance and Scene Enterprises CIC are indebted to Skills for Care for funding the making of this video and to Northumberland County Blind Association for allowing us to film some of the scenes in their wonderful purpose-built headquarters at Reaver's House. For further information regarding age-related deaf blindness, please contact your local care manager or contact Northumberland Care Alliance at nca at bc.org.uk or call us on 0191 410 7232.